An invasive species is a plant or animal that invades an environment and adapts so successfully that it takes over and disrupts the ecosystem by competing for the limited resources available to the native species. Although the Osteospermum, or African daisy, produces a beautiful flower, it's considered highly invasive. This is because each individual seed for the African daisy turns into a plant that produces flowers, that in turn produces many more seeds, which in turn produces many more African daisy plants and flowers and seeds and so on. Suppose you plant just one African daisy seed. How many growing seasons do you think it'll take before the front yard of this house looks like this? Write down how you arrived at your estimate. Now, let's look at the math behind how a species becomes invasive. If this seed germinates, it will produce a plant that will flower, produce seed, and die. I want you to do a little more guessing. How many seeds do you think will be produced by a single African daisy flower? Now let's plant a single African daisy seed and see what happens. After one growing season, this single seed has turned into this beautiful flowering plant. Write down how many flowers are on this plant. You can count them or make a reasonable guess. At the end of the blooming season, each of these flowers will go to seed and look something like this. And if you break the flower apart, it looks like this. Using these photographs, approximate how many seeds are produced by a single flower. We now have enough information to get a good estimate for how one seed planted at the beginning of a growing season results in many seeds at the end of the growing season. Use your answers to questions three and four to predict the number of seeds produced by all of the flowers on a single plant after one growing season. Be prepared to explain how you got your answer. If, during the next growing season, each of these seeds produces that many seeds again, how many seeds total will we have at the end of the second growing season? It's now time to mathematize this growth. Using our first year plant as an average seed producer, Write an expression that reveals how many seeds, s, we will have in x number of years. So what type of growth does this represent? Explain your answer. Complete a table showing the number of seeds, s, that will be produced after 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 growing seasons. Now, let's sketch a graph of the data in the table. How would you describe this graph?